a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. <laughs> Oh, look at the time. Time to go home. Are we all packed up? Yeah? Okay, come on, let's get home. Come on, Jade. How are you doing? That's good. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story maker. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. Look, look what the children have been doing. Trains! Oh, I like that one with the coloured carriages. Oh, and uh, that one there. Oh, yes, the one with the steam coming out of the top. <laughs> Byron, Jelly, come and look. Come and see hey, the trains. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Hello, Byron. Wow, look at those trains. <laughs> yeah, the children have been so busy. Yes. Mm. Bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, uh, bacon and eggs. Byron, bacon... there's no bacon and eggs. <laughs> it's just pictures of trains. I know yeah. that, my green queen. I'm oh. making a train noise. Oh. Bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, um, bacon and eggs, <laughs> bacon and eggs. But, Byron, trains don't talk. They don't say bacon and eggs. <laughs> no. Oh, but they do, my pink king. Oh. They chatter oh. under their breath. OK. Bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs, 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 bacon and eggs. I'm going to be a train, but I'm going to do my own chatter. Oh, of course, Jackson. Uh, what chatter will you have? Um, jelly and jacks, 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 jelly and jacks. Hang on, <laughs> what about Byron? Uh, he needs a chatter too. Mm. 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 Uh, what kind of chatter should I have then? Oh, 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 I don't know. I'm not very good at making things up. Oh, I know, I know. Oh. I... Oh, yeah? No. Oh, no, go on, Jack. Jackson. Jackson. Well, I think it might be a bit long. Oh, give it a try anyway. Go yeah. on. Okay. Um, Jelly and Jacks and Byron on tracks. Yeah. Jelly, Jelly and Jacks and Byron on tracks. 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 We could yeah. be a train. Yeah. I'll be the engine and you can be the carriages. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Jelly and Jacks and Byron on tracks. 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 Jelly and Jacks and Byron and Jacks. Jelly and Jacks and Byron on tracks. 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 Brakes on, Jacks. Brakes on. What's the matter with Jelly? I don't know. Let's go and see. Okay. Oh, did you get left behind, my green queen? Yeah, I thought you'd forgotten me. Oh, never, Jelza. We were a little bit of a runaway train. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what. What? How's about a story? Oh, yes, a story. Would you like me to put it in, Gels? Yes, please, Byron. In it goes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my favourite picture. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the imagination. Oh, of course not, Jelly. <laughs> Imagine. 
Imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> I hope it's a train story. <laughs> it's a playbook. <laughs> and it's called Henry's Train. Henry loved trains. He had a huge box of them. He liked to choose his favourite trains and carriages. He carefully put them together and pushed them around the track. Woo -hoo! One day, Henry's dad told Henry to stop playing with his trains and get ready to go out. Soon, they arrived at a huge railway centre. They went over to the old carriages and had a look. Henry touched the buffer and one of the connectors. But the best part of his surprise was that he was allowed to ride on a real steam engine. It was beautiful. It had large shiny wheels, a big shiny funnel where the steam came out, and a very smart plate with the train's name on it, Earl Bathurst. Henry climbed aboard with Dad. He watched the driver shovel coal into the big red fire. He watched as the steam brewed up and the handles were turned. Then with a loud toot, they were off. The train went very fast. Henry couldn't believe he was on a real steam train. Soon, it pulled into the platform and Henry climbed off. What a fantastic surprise. He couldn't wait to tell Mummy all about it. Wow. Oh, that was a brilliant story, yeah. wasn't it, Oh, yes, it was, I know. Let's play the story. Uh, I'll be the train. Uh, yeah. You can be Henry on the train, yeah. Barry. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can be the, the, the Mummy waiting for us. Yeah. OK. Is that OK, Joe? Shall yeah. we play? Yes. Train's yeah. ready. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Joe, you're playing. <laughs> Oh, why not, Gels? Come on. No, no, it's just that uh, I can't. There's an enormous spider next spider. to me. Uh, and I'm frightened of spiders. Oh, 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 spiders! <laughs> I love spiders. Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh. It's here somewhere. Uh, I'll find it. I'm good at finding it. spiders. <laughs> no, 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 Gels, oh, look, on, look, it's not spider, there spider, anymore. Spider. It's where not there is anymore. It? <laughs> look, Jelly, you shouldn't be scared of spiders. Yeah. Yeah. Abra kazoo! Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, can no, I, no! Can no, I hold it, please, oh, baby? No, one moment, Jax, one no, no, moment. No, no. Oh, come on, Jelly, come no. on, Jelly, look. Don't be afraid. Look, oh, it's only no. a, look, it's only a pretend spider. Look, it's just oh, to show you how interesting they are. Look at that. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> You're very big and hairy. <laughs> And I'm trying not to be frightened. Oh, very good, Jelly, mm. very good. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her kegs and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm not frightened anymore. That's Am right, I, Pai? Uh, no, you're not. You're Ooh. very brave, Jelly. Ha! I'll tell you what. What? Why don't we use this spider to make a story? Hmm? OK, oh, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Put it in the machine. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jelly. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Spider. In you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now all we need from you is some spidery imagination. Yes. <laughs> Will you help us? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a three-bear story. Yeah. Oh, and it's called The Great Hairy Spider. 
There's a house in the woods that's cozy and neat Where three furry creatures are waiting to eat The porridge is ready Hip, hip, hooray! But who will come for breakfast with the three bears today? Poor Father Bear. All he wanted was some peace in the morning to eat his breakfast. But who could that be knocking at the door? Baby Bear skipped over to answer it. If it's Goldilocks, tell her to come back later. She's a proper nuisance, said Father Bear. But it wasn't Goldilocks. It was a little girl in a flouncy dress. Hello, bears. I'm little Miss Muffet, and I'm so hungry. I was eating my bowl of curds and whey, and along came this hairy, great spider. Spider! Oh. And, well, I was frightened, and I dropped my breakfast plop everywhere. You can share our porridge if you like, can't she, Mum? Said Baby Bear. Of course. Sit yourself down, Poppet. You've had a nasty shock. Now then, Miss Muffy, what did this spider look like? Well, um, it had eight legs Hello. and it was very hairy oh, and oh, scary. Oh, Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet. <laughs> tuffet means bottom where I come from. <laughs> Waving her spoon in the air. A hairy great spider sat down beside her and made her jump right off the chair. Nobody likes me. I feel so sad, said the spider, waving its legs this way and that. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. I'm coming to sit next to you, Mr Big Furry Bear. <laughs> Save me, Mother! Cried Father Bear. Don't be like that. I'm a friendly sort of chap said the spider, and it skittle-scuttled across the table. Anyway, bears are much scarier than spiders. Oh, oh no, no, they're, they're not! not. <laughs> oh, oh, you made me jump, said the spider. Everyone giggled. I think you're funny, chuckled Baby Bear. You can sit next to me if you like. No, thank you. No, come and sit next to me, called Little Miss Muffet. <laughs> There's no need to squabble. I'll sit in the middle, said the spider. Oh, yeah. Right. Who's for porridge? Asked Father Bear. Mm. Oh, yes, yes please. please! Shouted Miss Muffet and her spider. They all sat down to a porridgey feast. And Mother Bear added a special treat. Mmm, it's banana flakes today. Mmm! <laughs> banana flakes. Yum, yum. Tuck in, everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that was a nice story. Oh, you right. know, I don't think I'm frightened of spiders anymore. Oh, I'm very glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Byron, yes? there's a funny, not very nice smell around you. Really, mm. Jax? Mm. Mm. You sure? Mm. It smells fine to me. No, Byron, Jackson's right. You do smell sort of funny and not very nice. Oh, come on, guys, that's not mm. funny. Nah. <laughs> his feet are fine. My feet? Mm. Not his feet. His head smells lovely. Well, my head. It's What's not his head. Mm. Oh, I think it's in there, Byron. Oh. Oh, what is it? Oh, you're right, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, what, what, what is, is it? it? It's my sardine sandwiches from yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Byron, I think you'd better put it in the story machine. Good you know, idea, you guys. mustn't eat them. Oh. No, no. Oh. Shall I put it in the story machine? I can be the oh. rubbish train. Very smelly. Uh, in it goes. <laughs> it went in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can you smell that? <laughs> Join in with your imagination. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. <laughs> I hope it's a smelly story. <laughs> it's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Skunk. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. 
One day, Blue Cow was smelling the sweet perfume from the flowers in her field. I wonder what it would be like to smell something horrible. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a horrible smelling place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for some woods. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was surrounded by the tallest trees she'd ever seen. Suddenly, with a swishing and a swashing, a dashing creature appeared beside her. Greetings, fair maiden. I'm Zorino the Skunk. Za -za -za -za. How may I be of service? Oh, hello, Zorino. I'm Blue Cow, and I was trying to find a horrible smell. Oh, an unusual quest, uh, but I will help you, fair maiden. Follow me. They set off through the woods. Do you know where we'll find a horrible smell? Ah, no, but have no fear, Blue Cow. I'm sure something will turn up. Before long, a deer crossed their path. Halt! Za -za -za -za. I smell the smell of... Hi, Zerino. It's only me, Doris. Doris smelled nice and grassy, so Zerino let her pass. <laughs> they walked on until a fox crossed their path. Halt! Za -za -za -za. I smell the smell of... Hi, Zerino. It's only me, Fergus. Fergus smelled nice and earthy, so Zerino let him pass. Uh, okay. They walked on <laughs> even further in search of a horrible smell. Suddenly, a fierce bear oh. came lumbering out of the bushes. I smell the smell of lunch. Ooh. Blue Cow began to shake. Fear not, fair maiden. Serino did a handstand, leapt across to the bear, turned round, lifted his tail and... Serino oh. had saved them. But all around them was the most horrible smell Blue Cow had ever smelled. And it had come from Zerino the skunk. Zerino to the rescue again. <laughs> oh, um, thanks, Zerino. I think it's probably time I was going. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a wood and been rescued by a skunk. Everyone knows that cows can't be rescued by skunks. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, I love that story. <laughs> Let's play that story. Um, I'll be the train. Uh, Byron, you can be Blue Cow. And Jelly, you can be Zerino the Skunk. <laughs> and I'm taking you all for a ride. <laughs> I don't want to be Zerino the Skunk. I want to be... um. Jellino the spider. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, yeah. gels, jacks, look. It's getting light outside. Oh. We better skedaddle. Oh. Oh. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. makers. Thanks for helping. Bye. See you later, story maker. <laughs>